Hello everybody, it's Crisco here. So, um, last vlog video I asked you guys how you were doing, and uh, one person kind of, well, kind of answered my question. So props to you one person, you know who you are, but the rest of you, come on. I'm, I'm asking you a question, I want to know how you're doing, how can I know if you don't tell me? See, unlike a lot of YouTubers out there, I ask a question and I genuinely want a response. I genuinely want to know what my viewers are up to and, you know, what they kind of feel about my videos. Otherwise, how do I know how I'm doing? Anyway, back to the subject of the video. Um, again, I'm apologizing because there's no co really good content, although I saw you all liked my parkour video. Uh, the costumes, that was great, tons of fun to make, and I'm glad you guys liked that. But uh, this video is more to talk about my new channel. What? A new channel? It's not a huge deal. Um, I made a gaming channel. I saw that some of you liked my Minecraft videos and some of those other uh, gaming videos. And what I want to do is I want to keep making those because I enjoy playing those games. But I don't want to um, make people who don't like them watch them. Does that, does that make sense? So what I decided to do is I made a second channel. It's called uh, youtube.com slash Crisco Games. Linky -ly right there. It's going to be on the screen. It's going to be in my pants too. So go ahead and click that if you want to see me and like Tyler and a few of my friends uh, play some Minecraft and other games. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, hopefully be coming out a video soon. Thanksgiving break's coming up and I think we'll be able to make a pretty sweet Minecraft video. So if you like those types of games, um, please subscribe to there. Tell anybody you know who likes to watch people play video games and do awesome crazy commentary because that's what it's going to be about. Because I don't want this video to be super short and like, hey, guess go watch this stuff and subscribe to this stuff. Uh, I got a little bit of content for you guys. Uh, just actually not too long ago, I gave a presentation in communications class at school. Uh, I did it on parkour. I feel like I'm doing a lot of parkour videos, um, but a lot of you say you like them, so I'm going to keep giving them to you. How about that? Uh, this video is an action video though, it's me giving a speech. Uh, the goal was to give a 6 to 8 minute speech, informative speech, on um, on a topic of our choosing, and I chose parkour. Uh, so uh, maybe you want to watch that, it might be entertaining, I'm gonna, it's going to start right after I'm done talking here. So if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to watch it anymore, that makes sense. <laughs> But uh, remember to subscribe to my new gaming channel if you like that kind of stuff. Otherwise, leave a comment below. Let me know how you're doing because you didn't respond. Uh, give me a thumbs up if uh, you're doing good, I guess. Does that work? In case you're a little too shy to talk, just hit that uh, thumbs up button. Here is the speech I just did. Uh, by the way, I did a like a Kong or a monkey vault and then, then I rolled on front of everybody. So that's what you're seeing. It kind of got started late. But that's what I'm doing. I do a parkour move in front of everybody and that's how I introduce my speech. So uh, here you go. I'll uh, see you later, guys. Hi. <laughs> how many of you know what I just did? Parkour. Parkour? Okay, we heard some of it. Um, how many of you heard of The Office? Okay. What about uh, 007 Casino Royale? Okay. What about Prince of Persia? Who's been on YouTube? Okay, so pretty much everyone now has raised their hand, meaning they've probably seen parkour at one time in their life, whether they know it or not. Hi, my name is Christopher Lloyd. I am a traceur, which is a parkour practitioner, and I've been practicing parkour for about three years now. Um, my goal for the speech is to kind of present a different definition to the word. A lot of people know and know what it looks like, but they don't know the true meaning behind it. Um, so the topics I'm going to cover are the true meaning of the movement, training and dedication, and then mental and physical benefits. Um, parkour is actually a French word, that's why it kind of sounds weird. Um, it's actually been around for a long time. It started with their military and the French uh, firemen many, many years ago. Um, parkour, as defined by American Parkour, which is the uh, leading online source for the United States of tutorials and etc., um, they define parkour as the physical discipline of training to overcome any obstacle within one's path by adapting one's movements uh, to their environment. So, simple definition, getting from point A to point B as quickly and efficiently as possible. Makes sense. Um, turns out, we actually did parkour as kids. You see kids climbing in trees and jump. They don't want to go in a straight line. They want to jump and climb ourselves. Well, that's what I do as an adult, basically. People, you know, they look at me weird. And they say, why are you climbing a tree? I'm like, why not? It's there to climb it. People ask me, well, why are you doing parkour? And how long have you been doing it for? And my question to them is, when did you stop doing parkour? When did you stop saying, I have to follow the straight line? You know, when did you start saying, I have to follow the straight line? Why not just learn to move in your environment? It's all around us. Um, parkour is also called free running, which is more of the flips and the tricks kind of thing. Um, parkour is kind of specifically 
centered around efficiency and um, training to be useful. Um, free running is typically more show-offy, that kind of competition sort of stuff. Um, my experience, I like I said, I've been training for about three years now. I started off with no help uh, from people in the community because there was no one. I was kind of the first, uh, one of the first people who kind of showed interest in Idaho. Luckily, people online throughout the United States and other countries were willing to send me tutorials and tips and all that kind of stuff. So I got a few friends and I learned to do it myself. Over the past few years, we have grown a community of over about 50 people I keep in contact with throughout the valley who all have the same love for the movement. So with training and dedication, um, it actually takes a long time to get proficient at parkour. A lot of people think, you see the movie, the videos, oh, that looks easy, or that's got some skill, but they think they can go and do all that stuff within one night. No, it actually takes a lot of time and a lot of practice. Not to uh, discourage anyone, but the practice and the time it takes yields a huge reward in the fact of what you find out you can do. Um, a lot of people see the videos and they think, oh, that person's reckless for climbing so high on that building or whatnot. But I don't think that's reckless because what you don't see in that video is that that person did that specific movement probably a thousand times before they recorded it. They practiced it every day until they got it right. Um, what's reckless is people who come in and think they can do all these crazy stuff without any training or, or teaching. So I don't think it's reckless. I think it's second nature to me. I'm used to the height, I'm used to the certain movements and how I know to move throughout my environment. Now, we learn to adapt. People who do parkour, they learn to adapt their environment. We developed something called parkour vision, which is basically seeing the world around you differently, seeing different obstacles you didn't realize before. And um, something I want to show about that is that uh, play a little thing called when the word is heard. And there's a lot of words, common words we think of. When we say the word, you think of something. So we're going to do the first picture is going to be what everyone else thinks. The second picture is going to be what um, I typically think. So when you hear the word speed, what do you think of? Speeding, what you do when the cops are around, right? right. But I think of this. I think of what's called a speed ball, one of the faster ways to overcome an obstacle. It's just a movement that's second nature to me. When you hear the word dash, what do you think of? Dash from the Incredibles, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think of this. It's called a dash ball. It's just one other name for the movements that we use to get over obstacles. So training parkour, you definitely learn a different like a vocabulary, a way to look at things than most people would. Um, with that, you develop a, a lot of mental thought when doing parkour. It's, a, it's very mental as much as it is physical. You learn to overcome obstacles both in your mind and right in front of you. Parkour.com, which is a uh, leading source for uh, tutorials and whatnot professionals, some of the founders of parkour actually run the site. But they say some of the benefits with training for parkour comes fitness, patience, perseverance, self-awareness, and a resentment or reassessment of the world around you. So both, you know, you get a good workout when you're doing it, but you're also kind of looking at the world differently. You think about it. It's a lot of mental thought. Um, a lot of it is breaking down that mental barriers of what you think the human body is, pop, uh, is capable of. A lot of things I did three years ago, I can do today, and I didn't think that was ever possible. A lot of it is that fear. You're standing on the edge, and you're like, okay, am I going to crash? Well, if, you, if you're going to crash, and you think you're going to crash, that's what you're going to do. You're going to crash. So a lot of it is mental and physical. So to kind of summarize what I, wanted to I talked about, uh, there's a lot more I want to talk about. There's a lot of things, but I'm kind of pressed for time. Um, parkour is a lot deeper meaning than a lot of people make it out to be. They see, oh, that looks cool. He's doing that football stuff. But really, there's a lot of thought. There's a lot of training. And there's a lot of mental clarity that goes with it. Through parkour, you experience true freedom. You learn to adapt to your environment. And nothing is not overcomable. Um, you learn that it also affects personal life. Uh, for me, I learned to overcome certain heights and climbing and stuff like that, but I've also learned that it works in the real world where, you know, schoolwork, overcoming small obstacles, you know, relationships with people and all that kind of stuff. So it definitely has application to everything in your life. Um, it takes a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of training, but again, the reward is great. Anyone who knows about practicing anything, that once you get good at it, you realize that it was worth, it was worth the work. Um, but I just hope I presented to you guys a little different definition of what part you might think parkour is. Hopefully, whenever you hear it or see it, you'll kind of think a little more about it, rather than just, oh, that looks cool, that um, you think more about, you know, that guy really dedicated a lot of time to get that right. And it's not just something we go and throw out in the middle of the night just for fun. It's something we, we kind of take seriously. And if I'm going to leave you with one thing, it's just that, remember, there is a meaning behind the movement. Thanks. <laughs>